but Edwards' goal, 30 seconds from time, meant the teams finished two all on aggregate, and Leeds went through to the final on the away goals rule. Roger Greenwood reports. He joined Leeds from Sheffield United last August for £120,000 after already scoring 200 goals in his career. But he managed only a handful of goals for Leeds and it was a substitute in the FA Cup semi-final against Coventry that Edwards snatched the first of his late goals in vital matches. And in last Thursday's first leg against Oldham at Ellen Road, he did it again, sending Leeds into yesterday's return at Oldham 1-0 in front. But Oldham levelled the aggregate score and this goal from Mike Cesare in blue put them ahead with little more than a minute left. But in the final seconds, up popped that man Edwards to score for Leeds and take the game into extra time. Well, there were no more goals, so the Leeds fans can look forward to the two-legged final against Charlton in London on Saturday and Leeds a week tonight. I'm manager Billy Bremner. Oldham denied us a chance to film United's moment of glory yesterday, but Leeds just managed to hold out on Oldham's famous and notorious plastic pitch. At one stage, Leeds went 2-0 down with only seconds to go. They fought back, but all seemed lost, until Keith Edwards, super sub, scored again in the dying seconds to make it 2-2 on aggregate. After 30 minutes extra time, it was still 2-2, and that meant celebrations for Ian Baird and Peter Gumby, and relief for manager Billy Bremner. Yeah, Harry, it was a nail-biter, uh, completely to the finish, and um, particularly uh, the first quarter of... Uh, of uh, extra time was a bit hectic um, but the longer it went on uh, in extra time um, we looked as though we might sneak away and get another one nearly there now just two matches away from it well, what's your job now really to try and get the players in the right frame of mind I mean team spirit's fantastic isn't it really yeah but they're in the right frame of mind anyway there's nothing I can do at the moment yeah. what about Charlton as, a, as an outfit a difficult side because although they've struggled for most of the season the latter end of the season they've actually been playing very very well yeah, similar enough to come on in and hit good form at the right time. And uh, obviously it's a difficult task for us because the first division uh, team, they've obviously got first division players with good calibre. Um, it'll be difficult, uh, but no more difficult than the Oldham game was because that was the real, probably our most difficult game of the season over there. 